Hey mamas, I'm back with Cody Andrus, author of Jesus by Her Side, and she's going to talk about what it looks like to have a faith that looks more like trust and less like understanding. This is going to be the key to help you relax and get through anything. So let's dive in. Another point that you made, um, which I think was really interesting, is having a faith that looks more like trust and less like understanding. And that really spoke to me because we always want to understand, right? I think especially as women, we want to know the why. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you not doing this? Or what does this mean, Lord? Why are you taking me here? Why are you not taking me here? So what does it mean to have a faith that's more grounded in trust and less grounded in trying to understand what's going on, where we're going, et cetera? So the example I always think of is like a tripod will stand on three legs. This is just a fact. It will stand on three legs and it will not, you can't make it wobble. A four-legged stool can wobble because if one leg gets shorter, it can wobble. But if it has three legs, it cannot wobble. Now, I don't understand the physics of that. I'm sure it has something to do with like how weight is distributed. I don't know, but it's it's a fact. Whether I understand it or not, it is the truth. You can try it, but it's a fact. And I don't have to believe it. I don't have to understand it. I don't have to create that in any way. That's just, that just is what it is. And I think then we are so hesitant to do that with things of faith. Now, hear me clearly. I do think our, what we believe is important. I think we need to know who the Lord is and know what his heart is like and know what the story of scripture says so that we'll understand the story of recon- like our reconciliation with God. All that is important, but all of that is true. God is who he is. God is faithful. God is loving. God is compassionate, whether I understand it in the moment or not. But we put so much pressure on ourselves to like, Mm -hmm. I have to have faith or God's not going to be faithful. I have to believe God is loving or he's not going to love me. Like, no, he loves you. And because of that, we get to respond by relaxing into that truth, not trying frantically to figure Mm -hmm. it out. I think that to me is the biggest difference in posture between understanding and trust. Understanding goes, Lord, you have to explain this to me. I have to be able to get it or figure it out. And there's a time and a place for that, but there's also a time and a place for going, well, Lord, you say you're loving, you say you're faithful. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to relax in this moment and let you be faithful and show yourself faithful, Lord. And Mm -hmm. the irony is that then when we see his faithfulness, our faith actually is built. Like we, we then Mm -hmm. Believe more fully. We do see more fully who he is. And so then we're able to trust more. It's like this give and take of, and back and forth between relaxing and letting himself, sh- letting him show us who he is, and then getting to mm-hmm. join our faith with that and go, Oh Lord, I see the way that you moved in that situation. I didn't understand it at the time. But because of the way that you showed yourself faithful, I'm now able to trust you more. Yeah, I like that. They're kind of at odds with each other. Right. It's hard right? To say like it. trying to understand. Yeah. Yeah. And I like how you put that. Um, but if we are grounded in who he is and we trust that, then it's like we don't need the understanding, right? We don't need it to be explained in order for him or in order for us to trust him. We're just gonna trust him, period. Which I think comes back to, you know, how do you do that? It comes back to using those mundane moments to um, become a training ground so that you can trust him in those bigger moments and you can see him working during those bigger moments, right? So I think they all kind of weave together. I mean, even, you know, the ice pack queen that we spoke about earlier also weaves into all of that, bringing it all to him, building your trust, seeing how God is drawing near to you um, by not being an ice pack queen, by not letting those mundane moments um, become powerful uh, moments of, of faith building. That is a wrap on the three-part conversation with Cody. If you missed the episode on using mundane moments as a faith training ground or the one about ice pack queens, go back and check those out. 
All right, mamas, I hope you have a beautiful, hope-filled, blessed week. And I'll catch you again next time for a cup of coffee with a side of faith, wisdom, and hope. Bye.